Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to sign up for a PayPal business account. So, why are we doing this? PayPal is pretty much the go-to online wallet uh, slash virtual bank account that you want to use online. Uh, they've got a lot of great services and customer support. Uh, they have a lot of great features. And if you want to get started with e-commerce without having to jump through a bunch of hoops or sign up with any complex companies, PayPal is definitely your go-to. So that's why we're doing this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to sign up for the account, what pages you need to go to, and where to find your merchant ID so that you can add it to whatever e-commerce platform you decide to join or whoever's, or you can give it to whoever's building your website and you can easily get payments from there on out. So let's jump right into it. So we want to head to the PayPal homepage, depending on uh, your country or region or location, or even what operating system you're using, Mac or Windows, you'll see a different homepage. Uh, but the menu at the top up here will always be the same. You got your personal and you got your business. You want to go to the business section right here uh, on this homepage. We have them right laid out right in front of us so we can just get started on the business. Uh, it, it just took me from the Jamaican page to the US page, uh, but we do have the sign up option. What I want to do, I want to go up here. If you, depending on the country, you want to enter your country up country code up here. So I'm going to put back JM. There's nothing there for JM, but don't worry about it. We can get around it and I'll show you why just in a bit. We can hit sign up. And this is exactly where we want to be. We want to be at paypal.com slash biz sign up slash hashtag slash check account. All right. Let's see. I should be able to put in the JM here. Great, great. So let me type in the email address. Let's use our fake character Malia at fleeksite.com. Let's type in a really good password. Let's call her Malia. Let's call her Malia May, two M's. And what business does she own? Malia's pottery she's a bit of an artist trading name is same as business name okay it's just for test purposes but this is what we're doing jamaica wow it's i don't think yeah none of these flags are right but let's ignore that for a second seven six and let's go to uh, 811 81111. Is it? Yeah, there we go. Uh, what do we want to put in our address line? We want to put 1 Orange Avenue. We can skip that. Let's just put Kingston and Kingston here. And the reason you want to ensure you put your country code here, depending on what country you're in, there's going to be different fields which you'll need to fill out. And if some of the fields aren't correct or matching with that country, then you won't be able to sign up. So that's what you want. why you want to put your country code up here. So it gives you the proper options. And we want to put, uh, we, is the US dollar is the world currency. We're just going to leave it at that. They don't have Jamaican currency in here, very limited selection, but we want to use US. So you, uh, by clicking agree and continue, I agree to the user agreement and conditions. So we're just going to hit that. Great. Describe your business type. She's a individual sole proprietor, product or service keywords. She does pottery. Yeah, miscellaneous home furnishing that business URL, no business URL. Continue, date of birth. Let's give her the 12th of January, mm, 1990. Make an identity documentation. Let's go use her national ID. Uh, six one two or six one five. 
2619 and let's say same as business submit and there we go we have successfully signed up for the business account and that is actually pretty much it for the sign up process of course you want to put in your real information otherwise when they do eventually request certain documents um you know that will mess with your account you have to go through uh some stuff with customer support so please enter your correct information if you're actually going to use the account but that is pretty much it for the sign up process let's click no thanks on that uh you can set up online payments on your website send an invoice creator uh, request or send funds now what i want to show you is how to get your merchant id uh let's see if i remember this let's say uh, is it business setup you can take a little tour around oh this is already business setup page okay reports activity balance head into our settings or profile account type business you can see all our information we added there personal information let's go into account settings and yeah this would be where to find our business or business information and the merchant key if we go into business information we see our merchant key and this is what we would want to provide to our our developers or the e-commerce platform we're joining or or to our website main, maintainers this is what we want to provide to them so that they can uh, integrate our PayPal account into our websites or service. And this would allow us to get uh, paid from different sources straight to our PayPal without any extra work. And that is pretty much it. What you want to do, you pretty much want to fill out the rest of the information here. Make sure everything's, everything looks good. And that is, that is all, guys. I really hope this will help you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you need to need any more information, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, or if you want to know anything else about starting your own business online, let me know down below. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll be uploading a lot more helpful tips just like this and even more helpful uh, going forward. This new schedule is going to be every Tuesday and Thursday. So tune in for those days. Thank you guys for watching again. I really appreciate the support you've been giving me so far. And I'm going to continue making some great content for you guys. Till next time.